G'day, good morning. Uh, just a bit of a crafty um, celery update. So, we've been in here since April. Uh, the roots are looking pretty good. The plants are looking very healthy. Um, we just keep going around, taking um, stems off like that. And um, what I do, I've got those drain holes at the bottom, level with the bottom of the net pot. So if it rains or when I fill them up again, um, I can't overfill it and drown the air roots. So what I do is um, just take my fertilizer, put a cap full of A, well that's B, a cap full of B and a cap full of A. In a watering can, a little stir up. The pH should be pretty right. That water out that water pretty good. And so <clears throat> that's topped up now and still looking good. Um, don't have to buy celery. Thank you. Okay, this is a flood and drain bed with a five mil gravel in it. So these are um, radishes that I sowed along with these carrots. Um, so I mixed the seed in with some sand and sprinkled it along and covered it with wet um, with a wet paper towel and a wooden board for about three days until they germinated and it's, I think uh, that was Colin Lowe's uh, suggestion and it's really helped with the uh, carrot germination. The heaps of carrots, um, plenty of these um, radishes, these are great, they're like a 30 day crop, you know. And I mean another, another two weeks and you'll be able to eat these. So these are great. And with the carrots, we'll have another carrot season before it gets too hot. And then over here, these um, beetroot. So these are going to come out now. I want to uh, leave a bit more room for these onions. The onions are doing really well. Um, see these stems are getting quite thick now. The garlic's still doing okay. It's not looking that flash, but. Um, First attempt, we'll see, see how they go. The onions are looking great though. So I want to um, uh, get, get rid of these um, radishes. Some radishes. Get rid of these beetroot. So that will let some more light in there. Um, we'll probably plant, um, might plant some um, dwarf beans in there. So, and these. So these beetroot are great, look at that. They can come out. Um, I'm doing it now. Okay. So there they are, they're just growing gravel. Straight ground, flood and ground. So what is it, it's uh, September, so I think these onions will be ready probably the end of um, next month, is it October? So even in aquaponics, if you have an aquaponics system and um, instead of running expanded clay, you run uh, some five mil gravel. Uh, you know, you can direct sow into the bed with these seeds like I've done here with these radishes, the beetroot, the onions and the carrots and you can uh, grow them like that. Thank you. are all 
all coming on. We've got um, these okra in here, and it's a little uh, tomato that popped up in the pre-paving. And um, these are Carolina Reaper chilies. So they're uh, up to um, their second uh, leaf now, or their first true leaf. What I normally do is I wait till they get to about uh, the third, so say, second set of leaves, and then I'll transplant them out of here. I'll just get a like a little trowel or something and loosen up the soil and take them out and um, pot them on. These are habaneros and these are Carolina Reapers. People like the crazy hot stuff. Um, habaneros are really good for sauces. Carolina Reapers are, I don't know, what you just good for burning your mates or something. But, um, so they're uh, doing really well. Uh, wait for another set of leaves and I'll um, pot them up. Thank you. Cauliflowers, cabbage.